YouTube, this is your girl A. Jones. I'm coming to you today because I am going to show you, as promised, how to go about cleaning your scalp while having crochet braids. If you are like me, I do not like having my hair dirty at all. So, I try to clean my hair once, probably every um, three days. So, I try to keep my hair and my scalp really, really clean. Unfortunately, you can't wash your hair like you would do regularly. Regularly. Um, because of the crochet braids and because the crochet braids are very, very delicate hairstyle, it's impossible to wet your hair. So what you will do is try your best to keep your scalp clean and moisturized as possible. So what you're going to need is a little small cup of water, like so. Get your favorite moisturizer. As I told you, mine is the Shine because it's not water based. And like I said, you do not want to put water on your crochet braids because it will make your hair frizzy. Also, too, I use shea butter. I made my own um, concoction with shea butter. I put extra virgin olive oil in it as well as organic coconut oil. And I will do a tutorial on that to show you how I go about using this. And this is really, really good. I also use this on my daughter's hair. Also, too, you might want to get you some cotton rounds because you're going to use this with your witch hazel. Okay? So, what I'm going to show you first is... Oh, and I'm sorry, and you're going to need a towel as well. So what you're going to do is fluff your hair out because you want to be able to get to your parts as easy as possible. And then the next thing you're going to do, like myself, is get yourself a cotton round. And you want to saturate it with some witch hazel. Like so. I've got this from Walgreens. I paid probably 99 cents. You can catch it on sale two for a dollar. Get yourself some witch hazel. Don't use alcohol as stated. Alcohol dries out your hair. And what you'll do is you'll just part each section of your hair. And just clean really good your scalp. Really, really good. Trying to get all of that build up dirt and grease that will prevent your hair from growing. I don't have much because I do this so routinely, if that's a word, but I do it on a routine basis because I don't like for my hair to itch and I do not like my hair being dirty. And with crochet braids, you can probably keep these in for a month or two and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to wash your hair, want to wash your hair uh, while having crochet braids. So as stated, you just go ahead and just clean your scalp with the witch hazel. And then, once you run out on that side, you can flip it over and just continue with the rest of it. That feels so good because my hair, ugh, collects so much grease and dirt. Cut all in my hair. It's really bad. And then, you might want to go ahead and get another one because this one is running out of switch hazel. Get another one. And again, saturate it really good with witch hazel. I saturate mine so much to the point where, look, it's dripping if I squeeze. Remember, try to protect your crochet braids. Only try to focus on your scalp. As you can see, my hair is growing really fast. And I only had these up for a month. You see my hair? It's growing really fast. I'm so excited. I can't wait until I take them out and see how long my hair has grown so I can go ahead and do my big chop. And you just continue the process. Just continue it. Rub, rub, rub. You can probably see some of my shea butter oil on mine it's right here. Let me just flip it over. So you probably um, will use about three to four cotton rounds per session. You want to say hi? Come on. Come right here and say hi. 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 Okay, bye bye. Right. 
and I'm going to get one more. I use three. And also, two, you want to get the back, the nape of your neck and your hairline as well. Because you have new growth there and dirt builds up there as well. I don't know if I got this one, but I'm going to do it again. Just in case. And then you get the front, like so, as well as the back, and around the ear area, on both sides. Okay. Now, you're going to take your towel, and you want clear, clean water. And you go ahead and you just dip your towel in there. And I'm doing this because I want to try to get some of that witch hazel out of my hair. Not that it will have an effect on your hair. I just, me personally, want to just be on the safe side. So, just wipe around it. And just go in between each part. Only touching your hair. You might uh, touch, some, touch some crochet braids, but if you do, don't worry about it. I mean, it's just, you have a little frizz, and I showed you in a tutorial before how to go about removing frizz from your crochet braids. And crochet braids, to me, personally, I don't think they should stay up longer than two months because of all the dirt that can build up on the parts that you can't clean. And to me, that's not good. Dirty and it's nasty. Okay, and you just continue to clean. Oof, look at this here. And you just continue to clean in between. I'm going fast now because I have a lot of stuff to do today. There. Alright. Now, what you're going to do next is get your, for me, I'm going to get my moisturizer, which is some um, shea butter. And I just give myself a generous amount of moisturizer because you stripped your hair of all the moisture. So you want to replenish it. And it'll reapply it. So you just take a, la a generous amount of oil, moisturizer, whatever it is that you use. And you just give yourself some moisture. And it feels so good to go on too. And like I said, I will do a tutorial on how I go about making my shea butter and the different oils that I put inside of it for extra moisturizer. Alright. You see how I'm putting, giving myself a generous amount? And this too will promote growth. As you can see, my hair is growing. Where's my hair? Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, look right here. You see, my hair is growing so fast. And like I said, I only had these up for 
uh, a month and my hair is already growing super fast. And you just part each section like so. And you want to just go in between and massage your scalp. It's always good too because of the blood flow. Which also promotes growth. You just massage it in. Like that. See right here, this is my hair. This is my hair. And look how long it has gotten. Uh, and all I do is I get my shea butter from uh, vendors you know sometimes you can catch them at different African fests and things like that and it should be no more than five or six dollars as well as the beauty supply store how preposterous is that <laughs> And you just lather it in like that. Massage, massage. Mm -hmm. And you just massage it in like that. So these couple of braids, I'm gonna do it really fast because this time is running out. And then I will do this probably in another three days. Repeat the same cycle. Like that. And you also want to give yourself... Let me massage that in real quick. Okay. Like that. And then you put some on your hands, in your hand, palm of your hand, you rub, rub, rub like that. And you just get your edges. And you get the back as well, and around your ears. And then you put the remainder. And then you can get your shine. I use smooth and shine polishing. I love it. As you can see, it's almost gone, so I have to shake it a little bit. And then you rub it in, and you just put it only on your crochet braids. To give your crochet braids that shine and that polishing look. Because crochet braids can tend to uh, look a little bit dry after a while. And then you just style as desired. I am going to go ahead and I am going to remove some of my frizz and then I'm going to style my hair so I can go ahead and get off to the dentist. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. So again, I hope this helps some if not most. As I always say, remember you are beautiful. And I want you guys to have a good and blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.